Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candice, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really futuristic name. Took a minute, I had to ponder that. At least I think it's pretty futuristic. Well, actually, the story that I read kind of references something that can be futuristic. You'll see. Anyway, let's get ready for the checklist. I'm going to use the tambourine tonight. It's time for the checklist. 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 Just like this. Checklist. Ooh, yeah. All right, put that down. I'm doing too much. That's all right. When I break out them um, orchestra um, instruments, you're going to be like, whoa. Oh, wow. Well, I get that oboe up in here, that hot oboe. Okay, we'll get a harp up in here. Watch out there now. All right now. Don't get me started. Anyway, boys and girls, let's see what we need to do. What have we done and what should we have done? Just mark it off the checklist. Did you have dinner yet? Is your belly full? Check. Did you do your chores? Hope your chores are done. Check. What about your homework? Did you do your homework? You know you got to do your homework. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. The more you practice, the better you get. Check. Let's see. Heading on up and as I visualize the, the night routine, have you picked out your clothes that you're going to wear for tomorrow so you don't have to do it in the morning? Check. You got your PJs, um, T-shirts, underwear, whatever you need. Check. Bath. Shower. Did you take one yet? Are you fresh and clean and your body all refreshed and you smelling all good? Check. What about your teeth? Brush your teeth. Did you brush your teeth? Are they shiny and glistening and white and pearly? And is your breath all sparkly and fresh? Check. And um, flossing is a thing. So if you have floss, make sure you floss your teeth as well. Check. And clean ears is a thing, so if you need to, use a Q-tip gently on each ear so you can clean them out. Check. And combing your hair, brushing your hair, tying up your hair, wrapping it, you know, wearing a nightcap, whatever you need to use, a, a, you know, a wave cap, whatever applies to you. Check. Night light, night light. Do you have a night light? Make sure you have a night light so you can see if you have to get up in the middle of the night. Check. Also, clean your room. Is your room clean? You got to make sure your room is clean. Mainly for safety purposes. In the middle of the night, you don't want to get up and step on your favorite Legos. And ouch, ouch, that hurts. So clean up. Check. Did you give your I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches to your family members and pets that live at home with you? And if you have guests over, show them a little love too. Check. And of course, all that said, make sure you say your prayers, give thanks to the Creator. Say your prayers in appreciation of everything that you have. Pray, pray, pray before you go to sleep. Check. All right, now, boys and girls, hopefully you have your cuddle buddies. That's a checklist thing, too. You got one or two cuddle buddies with you. Check. Let's get started in the story. This is our last night of Black History Month. This is in it. It's not particularly about anyone in particular, but the the characters are melanated in the book. But I'm going to continue to read awesome stories about awesome black people that have done awesome things. And this story is entitled Astro Girl by Ken Wilson Max. Astrid has loved space ever since she can remember. She's aiming for the stars. So you can see how this can be perceived as kind of futuristic because still a little girl, look at the stars, look at that, that drop, that drop on that cover, that inside cover. So this is futuristic and that this is something the little girl in the story aspires to do when she grows up. Astrid has loved the stars and space ever since she could remember. How many of you guys are into the stars and outer space? I want to be an astronaut, Astrid told her best friend Jake as they gazed at the stars. Will you bring me an asteroid when you come back from space? asked Jack. Of course I will, Jakey. I 
want to be an astronaut. Astrid said at breakfast. Are you sure? Papa asked. You'll have to go round and round the earth in your spaceship. He swung her around. I can do that, said Astrid, giggling. Ha ha ha, It is fun when your dad swings you around, isn't it? That's pretty fun. What about eating out of a tube or a package every day? I can do that, said Astrid, as she munched a cereal bar. Funny thing is, I had a cereal bar with breakfast this morning. They do have to have a special way of eating in outer space. Okay, Astro Girl, you'll also have to get used to zero gravity. Papa threw her up in the air. I can do that all day long, Astrid laughed. <laughs> She's having so much fun because her dad is tossing her up in the air. What about all the science experiments, asked Papa. Could you do those, my brave explorer? No problem, said Astrid, as they made rocket ship cookies. Oh, that's cool. Rocket ship cookies. Rocket to the moon. Rocket ship to the moon. Rocket ship to the moon. Will a space cadet like you be able to sleep on your own among the stars? Papa asked. I think... That will be very hard, but I'll do it, Astrid whispered. That's good. I think she'll definitely make a great astronaut, and I believe in her that she will. At last, it was time to go get Mom. Astrid wore her favorite space t-shirt. Oh, I wonder where her mom is at. Where is she going? If you've seen this story before read it, you already know. At the Space Center, Astrid and her papa moved to the front of the crowd just as the doors opened. Oh, is that, is that where her mom is? Where? Mama! Astrid gave her mama a big kiss. I missed you, said Astrid. Guys, her mom is an astronaut. So she wants to be an astronaut just like her mom. What does your parents do? And would you like to do what they do? I want to be an astronaut just like you, said Astrid. You're my hero. Yeah, you know, our parents can be our first heroes. Nice. Astrid has learned a lot about being an astronaut. The word astronaut comes from two Greek words, astron, meaning stars, and not nauts, meaning sailor, sailor. American astronaut Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first to land on the moon in the lunar module Eagle on July 20th, 1969. The first animal to go into orbit was a dog named Leica on the Russian Sputnik 2 spacecraft on November 3rd, 1957. So that's just some tidbits to end out the story. And there are a few other things here too. And it looks like it shows astronauts train underwater to create the feeling of floating in space. Well, that is an interesting fact. I'm just gonna kinda show the page and hopefully you guys can read or see that. If not, make sure you grab this book. It's a pretty cool book. In the meantime, boys and girls, you know what time it is, so get ready and got your PJs on and you're snug as a bug in a rug underneath your blankets. Don't forget, say your prayers first, though, because, of course, you can dream that you're going to be an astronaut. You can dream anything you want to. 
All you have to do is close your eyes, whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about, make sure you're comfortable, safe and sound, and relaxed and warm. And just allow your body to drift off into dreamland so you can dream that special dream. All right, boys and girls, I'm cutting out of here so you can get right to it. See you next time. Bye-bye.